I love trail riding. That's that's where we all started. So trails are where it's at. Everybody loves trails. One bus, 4,600 kilometers, 12 locations, over 60 days, with five pro free riders taking calculated risks that should not be imitated. Drop in, brought to you by Toyota Canada and PinkBike.com. Share the ride. Shoot some hoops, wait for the ferry. Going all the way to Rossland. I want to see Lunchbox Larry. Getting on the uh, Osprey 2000. Alright. I'm going to put them all the way down there while they're sleeping. Time to go have breakfast. We're in the mountain bike capital of Canada. <laughs> Getting the bikes all tuned up here and making sure they're good to go for the second leg of the tour. Uh, I'm going to put on this uh, race face stem and race face bar. Just imagining it right now. The angles. The <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, set of 165, race face North Shores. Bike should stop creaking. Like a kid in a candy store. Check it out, it's got flames on it, man. That's cool stuff. So it was the BC Cup champ for Master 30 to 39 last year. So they gave me free entry to all the races if I wore their cool jersey. <clears throat> and here's the other bad boy. Nice. Not bad, eh? My name is Johnny Rocks. I like long walks on the beach, moonlight dinners. Rawson's my home, and we're going to be showing you the goods. It's all fun here. Are we all cozy in here? Come on in, baby. Let's go get a chocolate Ready to do it. I'm the phone. <laughs> see? See the kind of a hard tail? Abuse, I think. Crush Harddale. <laughs> Crush the Harddale. We're at the top of Rock and Roll. This is a trail that uh, drops about 2,000 feet. Yeah, well, I guess the trail's that way. Uh... Uh, I got to meet up with the infamous Lunchbox Larry, or Gloves, as most of the locals seem to call him. Keep the, the energy up in the group. It was a really good time riding with him, trying to follow him down trails. Well, he's making his dirt bike sounds, going off the jumps, and it's pretty fun just trying to ride a trail with him that he rides all the time and stay on his tail. It was good to be on some trails that had massive flow to them. Uh, Roslyn's all about the flowing downhill trails. There used to be a volcano surrounded by oceans. You're not lying, are you? No. There's a book. Read it. <laughs> oh, that's a cool shot. Roslyn has the thickest dust I've ever tasted. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! It, it was nice to be oh. home and be back on familiar uh, terrain. We rode some of the old Roslyn classics with Johnny and Chris, two local hardcores, uh, they took us on some great trails, some, some fun little stunts, it's a lot of flow.
Yeah, Darren. We're ready for the pickup. We don't have to ride back. Oh, no. Well, this is free ride at its best. Yeah, free yeah. ride. Free ride. Free, free, free from free riding. Ride. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! We got lost, eh? Yeah, we got lost, but we found our way back from the other local line. We got lost in the dust storm. Yeah, it's super fun. It's and raw, and rugged, and natural. We got to get out to the highway, man, as fast as we can before the other dudes find us here. It's the same thing you said. Yeah. yeah, with your fly down, though. Yeah. It was really fun, actually. No, wait, that was really, really fun. That was just a warm up. Yeah. Just wait well, till we get going. Get the bikes loaded. Did I say now? I meant right now. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the bus for some sandwiches. Would you like some monster? My people want a sandwich on a little table. It's like a feeding trough for the cattle. A little extra protein. Perfect. <laughs> It's awesome then we're gonna go ride. Wow. This deep and rock. This actually is pretty uh, historical trail because when the Americans had their prohibition, they weren't doing any of that drinking thing. They got the Canadians to smuggle whiskey over the border, and that's why this is called the Whiskey Trail. I think whiskey is probably the best trail I've ever done. It had so much flow and it was it was awesome. It's highly recommended if you ever get out to Roslyn, get up that trail. Roslyn definitely has some Awesome trails, very flowy and rolly. Uh, lots of lots of good stunts. It's uh, known as the mountain bike capital of Canada. I think the Coonies are the mountain bike capital of Canada. right there and my lip just grinded down and I came to a stop on my lip and okay my now I think I'm gonna go get some stitches there's a, there's a chunk of his lip there. somewhere here there's, there's a head impact there's, I think that's that's the lip smear yeah, he was a mess bubbles and all sorts of goo coming out of his mouth now I'm just swallowing a lot of blood Any words of wisdom? Full face helmet. Good morning. How are you? So we're at the top of the PR trail. Uh, PR, I'm pretty sure, stands for public relations. We're going to blast off. I mean, uh, head out. ride down the trail and just hold this hand out here and break kind of. Yeah. Or maybe I could just tuck it into my pocket just when I need to break this kind of. Drop in. section at the end, just this uh, surfy, downhill, uh, loose sand stuff, and uh, we all we all went for a ride down there. That's fine. That's the closest thing to surfing on two wheels. Two days riding the trails here show me that this is the place to be. Ah! The rest of the crew is just out riding right now on some trails, and he and Tim's a little buggered up, so we decided to take it easy and just go session some picnic tables, ride some street, find some stuff, and then session it up a little bit later too with the rest of the crew. So right now we're just gonna 
play around and I have some key ideas in my head. I'd like to see if they can put on actual tricks. This is Don, Don Ector. How's it going? Master trail builder. I'm ready to rock. <laughs> Tasty huckleberries. Here's a beauty bush. <laughs> Pick huckleberries and ride trails. That's a wow. lot of berries, man. <laughs> yeah, man. We go up and then we go down. That's right. It's all about flow of this trail. With some stunts, of course. Got to pick it up a little bit. The opposition's getting a little tough. They're they're kind of figuring out our weaknesses. Yeah, how Maybe we'll go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. You can see Mike huck that drop smooth, yeah. and uh, here goes Larry. I guess you guys gotta call me Leaping Larry now. Why did they call it Johnny Rocks? The rocks just took too much work to move, so we just left them there and called them Johnny Rocks. Whoa, yeah. That looks like it hurt. No, not really. I just hit the dirt, eh? roundabouts for all the stunts so that uh, basically everybody can have fun on these trails. I like to come out with boys and we can bring our wives and everybody has fun. That's the way it should be. Hold on, this will be just fair. Running man. It's been a lot of fun. Never tried it off a bridge drop before. Thanks for taking us to the trails today. No problem, it was my pleasure. You guys seem like nice enough boys. So this is your house, Larry? Yes, sir. Oh, it looks like you got our salmon going. Soy and brown sugar. So what do you got in your pockets today, Dad? Well, and just for the records, after this show, I'm gonna be officially broke and living on the streets and I won't have a house. Is it worth it? Yeah, I can ride my bike all the time. <laughs> yeah. Is that real? <laughs> yeah. Just prepping the berries. The bears are going to be mad at us. The secret ingredient? Oh, it's maple syrup. Putting in some berries first. Oil in there, right? Balsamic vinegar, powdered mustard, and then we need a little bit of syrup. Okay, now we got to test it. Ah! Do you think we can fit three on there? Are you getting hungry? No, I'm starving. Everyone's full, or you want to take something with you? Here, take this with you. I don't think so. Yeah. Thanks very much for the hospitality. Hey, it was my pleasure. Seven thirty. Uh, and coffee. Going for a shepherd. Two big sand lines and those big road gaps. You gotta come check out the sign. They covered their beep. <laughs>
Board Shepherd, here we are. Looks like some rowdy sand lines. Butler's gonna go huck that 50 footer over there. <laughs> I think Kinrad's got something even bigger lined up. You're gonna ride a few different lines. Gonna have some fun. Byron, I heard you've uh, got this beast running. It sounds like it. She burned some rock. <laughs> The battery jumped out and punched out our drive shaft, eh? So, like, we're gonna need to take her into the shop for a quick rebuild. And we're gonna launch him. What is it? Out of the catapult with a rock in his back. This is G.I. John. He's a paratrooper. Surprised that uh, everything went right. He pulled his cord a little early, a little hesitant. But I, I think he's confident for the next jump. Come on. Uh, G.I. John. <laughs> when the big helmet comes on, you know that means trouble. It's time to wrestle. Uh, right now I'm thinking about doing a little uh, bar spin off this line. Chuck the bars, grab them, ride the line out. When did you start doing bar spins? Well, I've done them on the BMX, but I decided to put on my mountain bike like four or five days ago. It's my first time doing it off drop, definitely. Yeah. I had to go up and carve that berm there. But it was way too bumpy and the sand's just too soft. What are you doing? I'm uh, testing for wind. So you have to take your glove off? Um, not in the West Kootenai. I gotta be honest, I can't tell a lot. I'm pointing to the sky. <laughs> Why? Because there's light up there. Oh! That's what I call pitching a tent. Where people ask you to go really big into sand slopes and you sink in when you land and you pitch a tent. I love rolling in it. It's the beauty of dirt, don't hurt. It's the rocks that get you. Nice! Yeah. Came here to do a three and did it. Running's kind of sketchy. Landing's kind of soft, but I've wanted to do one of those for five years. And finally, the chance came and did it. I thought it was awesome. I've never seen anything like that. That was freaky, man. I've never seen anything like that. I highly recommend that to anybody with two wheels and some pads. It went from a foot deep, sinking in, to all of a sudden all these bumps, and all of a sudden I'm on top of the chute. So my bike kind of wanted to take off of me. And just you dropped your foot up. and slow it down? Yeah, I was just pulling a little one-footer action, you know? Got to keep it entertaining. Sandy at the top coming in and then just got really hard and washboard bumpy, like crazy, steep. Uh, I didn't even know it was below me. Yeah, it was just sketchy. One of the sketchiest lines I've ever done. Really steep and I just kind of like leaned back and death gripped my handlebars and said, hey, let's go for a ride. Here's Tim, a little bit of rock field in front of him. Kind of, uh, the bar kind of turned. And... So he's kind of like, <laughs> that was a pretty good reenactment. And his bike was all tangled up in his legs, and he's just <laughs> glasses all scraped up. That's what I like to do in my spare time. I like to huck rocks over the bank, see if I can hit my brother's car. So what's the plan? I don't know. I think they're going to want to do some more airlines, and then. I think I'd have arrived a few hours of street day.
going to go hit a gap. It was in crank three. It's just a nice little tosser. Um, but the one problem is, is that it's so old that the run-in is completely just soupy sand. I think it was in the in the forward rotation. We was going back down catching while she's still spinning and then grabbing the gears and blowing them up in the gearbox there. The official challenge of the night. Twenty dollars. One minute in the cooler. Minimum. One arm. Drop In has been brought to you by Toyota Canada and Pinkbike.com. Share the ride.